we want to share with you today from the subject, the God that we serve. Amen. The God that we serve. And you see, the God that we serve different from other gods. Amen. Amen. He is the tr only true and living God. And when you say the word God, uh, everything you can think of comes under that name. And we have the writing of Nahum, an outstanding biblical character. He is one of the minor prophets of the Bible. But in this text, he tells us about the works, the mighty works of God. Uh, he talks about uh, the created and sustaining power of the, modern, of the mighty God. And one thing is clear when you read this passage is that God rules everything through his providential power. Amen. We see things look like they're out of hand now, but I want to tell you that God rules everything. Uh, he is, he, he was, and he will always be, and he, uh, he controls uh, the entire universe. Um, as we read this text, I think we see the following things. First of all, uh, God is a jealous God. Amen. When you read that second verse, it says, God is jealous and the Lord revenges. Amen. The Lord revenges and he is furious. Uh, God is a jealous God. They say he will revenge his adversaries. And uh, uh, amen, amen. And he uh, reserves wrath for his enemies. Uh, God told Moses uh, when they brought the children out of Egypt and they got to Mount Sinai and God gave the Ten Commandments, he told Moses, say, I want you to tell the people that I am the Lord God that brought you out of Egypt. And I am a jealous God. And I don't want you to have no other God before me. Amen. Jealous may be defined as an uneasy state of mind under the fear that another has engaged the infection of the one you love. And God is a jealous God. Amen. He is jealous. And I... As I looked at this and I thought about that, there are two kinds of jealousness. Amen. There is a holy jealousness. And then there is a unholy jealousness. Can I get a witness? Amen. When, when, when you're holy jealous, that means that you, uh, amen, you don't want somebody else receiving the love and affection that you're supposed to receive. Like a husband and wife. Amen. But unjealousness is, amen, you are, amen, you're jealous of somebody else's uh, whatever it is, looks, success, fame, skill, wealth, health. Uh, you're just jealous of somebody else. That's an unhealthy jealousy. And what it would do, it would bring about a barrier between you and that person. Can I get some help now? Amen, amen. But a holy jealousy, and you, you, you love a person, you, you're wishing, them, you're wishing that person the best, and you, uh, you're concerned because you said that person is yours. Y'all ain't gonna pray with me today, are you? Amen, amen. And nothing wrong with being uh, holy jealous, amen, but uh, there's something wrong with being foolish jealous. Yeah. <laughs> amen, amen. Our God is a jealous God. He cherishes and he loves those who trust in him. Amen. You see, the Lord demands our loyalty and our allegiance uh, to him and him only. And God doesn't want to see you giving your time, talent, and, and possession to, uh, amen, and making other things first in your life. He wants to be first, amen. God doesn't appreciate his children, amen, uh, 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 sharing their love and affection with everything that come along. Amen. God told uh, John when he was on the island of Patmos, he said, John, I, I, 
I, I, I got some different stages of churches, but I want you to tell this church, tell them that I would not have them lukewarm. Amen. You either are hot or you're cold. Can I get some help? You? Yeah, amen, amen. God doesn't want no lukewarm church. Uh, amen. You're either hot or you're cold. Uh, secondly, God revenges the wicked, amen. In that third verse, he says, the Lord is slow to anger, but he's great in power. Uh, you see, I, I, I'm glad that God is slow to anger. He doesn't get angry like you do. Amen, amen. He doesn't get angry uh, just because every time something go wrong, he get angry. If he did, he would be messing us up a lot of time. Amen. But, but God is slow to anger. He, amen. Uh, but he is mighty in his power. Oh, isn't that right? Yeah, amen. And, and you don't have to worry about the wicked because Psalms 30, uh, 37 and 1 and 2 says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thy envy against the workers of iniquity. For he said, For they soon will be cut down like grass. And they are withered away. Oh, I wish I had some help there. You see, you don't have to worry about your enemy. Just do what's right. And trust in the Lord. And he says, the Lord will fight your battle. And Moses said, look, he is a warrior. And he fought a many battles. And he has never lost one. Amen. He tells John, uh, Romans 12 and 20 tells us how we ought to deal with thy enemy. He said, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he thirsty, to give him something to drink. Amen. If he's hungry, feed him. He said that. And when you do that, he said, you are heaping coals upon the city. Coals of fire. Amen. You don't have to fight with your enemy. Just go on and do what's right. Love them and do what's right. Amen. And, and, and let me tell you something else. You don't even have to have the last word either. Amen. Sometimes you, you some, some, some of us, we, we, we won't let the, somebody else have the last word. We got to have the last word. I, I, but, but, but you don't have to have the last word. And then I'm going to tell you something else. You don't have to be what folks say you are. Well, they'll say you a whole lot of things. But you don't have to be in it. And if you know you're not what they say you are, don't even worry about it. I, I know I'm not that because I know I am a child of God. Amen, amen, amen. And then the third thing is God is slow to anger, but he's great in his power. Amen. And the Lord is slow to anger. He, he, he is slow. He doesn't get the... Uh, let me say it like this. God is a patient God. Isn't that right? Amen. He has patience with us. He, he's not quick to him. Uh, amen. Some of us, if you look at us, amen, we, we get an attitude. But God is not like that, is he? Amen. God, God, God is a, uh, he's patient. And, and, but, but I want to tell you something. Uh, even God's patience run out. Uh, amen. If we read history, we find out that, that uh, his patience uh, ran out back in the days of Noah. Isn't that right? Amen. Uh, when the uh, wickedness got so uh, so bad until it said his stink in his nostrils that God destroyed the human race. He only saved one family. I'll tell you God will give you time to get it right. Amen, but he won't wait on you forever. Isn't that right? Amen. He is God. He, he told Israel when, uh, uh, when they were in, uh, 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 in Jerusalem and in Judah, he told them, said, now look, uh, y'all keep uh, uh, wavering on me. You, 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 you're all right today. Tomorrow you're going off worshiping some other God. He said, I'm not going to have that. Uh, and amen. And he sent the enemy and they, they took them and carried them down in Babylon. And they had to suffer. They had to pay for leaving God. I want to tell you, it's a dangerous thing to leave God. 
Uh, if you leave God, you're headed for trouble. Amen. God is mighty in his power. Amen. Uh, uh, he is mighty. Amen. He not only, uh, amen, can, can, can get your enemy off your back, but he can keep them off. Isn't that right? And, and if your enemy knocks you down, God can pick you up. And I don't mean he'll come down here and he can get to himself, but he always, and, and, and I just love this about God, God always got somebody to come to your rescue. Amen. Like I've said, that God, God ain't raining no more manna from heaven. Amen. Them, them days are over. He ain't raining no more. Amen. And, and, and I hear these folks on, on television talking about you pray and God will, amen, stack up your bank account. But I, I got problems with that. The only way I believe your bank account is going to get stuck, amen, uh, amen, stocked up is somebody going to have to put some in there. Amen. Maybe you didn't put it in there, but somebody got to put it in there. God ain't raining no more manna, but he got somebody that would come to your rescue. And sometimes it may be your worst enemy. So you better be careful how you treat your enemy, because your enemy might become your best friend. Boy, oh, I know I'm right now, and I'm just about through. Amen. The last thing is, God is a stronghold in the time of trouble. Amen. The Lord is good. He's strong. Amen. And, and uh, he's somebody that we can love, rely on. When, when life becomes rough and rugged, you see, every now and then, we need a leaning post. No wonder uh, the, the psalmist 27 1 says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? You see, and then in Psalm 27 5, he said, For in the time of trouble, and he shall hide me in his prevalence. He's a mighty God, I tell you. He's so powerful until God can speak and men will fall out like dead flies. And then he can speak and men will live again. He is powerful. He's so powerful until he took the east wind and blew across the Red Sea all night long and dried it up in the middle like that. Mark don't crawl to the other side. And you all right? And when they got down to the Jordan River, God told them to just put your foot in the water. Can I get a witness here? And every time the, the priest put his foot in the water, God rolled the water back and allowed uh, uh, his servants to go across to the other side. Ain't you all right? He is a mighty good God. He can make a way out of no way. Ain't you all right? No wonder somebody say he'll fix your heart when it get out of trouble. Ain't you all right? He'll be a doctor in a sick room. He'll be a lawyer in a coat room. He's all right. He'll be a friend when you're friendless. Do you know him? And you're all right. No one of the songwriters wrote the other day. He said, Rock of Ages, live for me. Let me hide myself in me. And you're all right. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side flow. He's all right. He's all right. God. And I don't know about you, but I trust him. I lean on him. I depend on him. Because he will always come through. 
God bless you. May he sanctify and keep you. Though the church is open, may we all stand.